Hi, thanks for joining us. My guest today is Bill Harris. Hi, Bill, and thank you for coming by. My pleasure. It's good to see you. Yes. Now, you've had an interesting history with PayPal and Intuit, and you've, you've done a lot of things with technology in the financial arena. Yes. And do you still see that evolving at a very rapid pace? Oh, completely. I think it's the most exciting time to be involved in what I've been doing for the past 20 years, which is financial technology. Why? It's not because the technology we have today is so much different, it's because it is so much better adopted. Just about everybody, just about every affluent household in the country today has a smartphone, many of them have iPads, and they're using those things to manage most of what they do in life. People don't go to Sears anymore, they go to Amazon. They don't go to the travel agent, they go to Expedia. And the frustrating thing is that your money, which should be digital, should be electronic, is sort of the last bastion of the wave to move to digital technologies. We're trying very hard, many people are trying very hard. And I think one of the very frustrating things for people too is that there's so much stuff available out there on the web. There's a website for this and you can put your portfolio up there. Then there's a website to get research over here. And then there's a website that talks about 401ks. And the average person just doesn't know what to do. Well, it's fascinating because one of the reasons that I founded Personal Capital is exactly that realization. <clears throat> Having spent many years of my life building some of these point solutions for various financial tasks, it finally dawned on me the biggest problem that most affluent households have is chaos. Exactly. Their, their accounts and their money are scattered. All sorts of different financial institutions, mm -hmm. accounts, different websites, different... And so being able to bring it all together, I think, using digital technology to do that, hopefully can help reintegrate people with their money. Now, in terms of the actual technology, you said that it's not like it's it's not new, cutting edge stuff that's just happened around the bend. But if somebody wanted to invest in just the technology end of it, what kind of companies would they be looking at? Well, I think um, I think on the financial side, um, uh, there really aren't. Um, public companies mm -hmm. that are doing sort of the leading edge stuff yet yet right. mm -hmm. um, the public companies that I think are closest to doing that are people like Fidelity Schwab um, TD Ameritrade mm -hmm. people like that okay um, most of the people such as personal capital who are building completely new and digital ways to manage your money mm -hmm. remain private often venture backed companies right okay super thanks for joining me you bet and thanks for being with us on the moneyshow.com video network.